Welcome to Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, one of the most unique universities in the nation. Did you know that we are the only university in the country located on its own island? We've provided a solid academic reputation since 1947 and currently offer over 85 of the most popular degree programs in Texas. Thanks for wanting to get to know the Island University and thanks for joining us on this virtual tour. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Lorena. Come on, let's get you checked in. Hi, I'm Megan, and here's your tour folder. I would normally provide you with a school excuse form, but I don't think you'll need one. Anna Manusha, we're gonna be your island ambassadors today, and we'll be guiding you throughout the tour. Let's go to our first stop. Thanks, Anusha. Hey guys, it's Jordan. Let's go ahead and head over to the Michael and Karen O'Connor building. Students interested in pursuing a business degree will spend most of their time at the Michael and Karen O'Connor building, which is home to our AACSB accredited college of business. The Association to Advanced Collegiate Schools of Business is the highest accreditation that any college of business can earn. In fact, less than 1% of schools in the world have this accreditation. Let's explore the building a little bit. On the first floor, you'll find general classrooms, a large lecture hall, and a small eatery where you can enjoy a tasty pastry and coffee. There's also a hidden secret conference room and the academic advising center. On the second floor, you'll find computer labs equipped with business software and up-to-date stock ticker, more classrooms, study rooms that provide breathtaking views of the Corpus Christi Bay. The College of Business's Dean and outstanding faculty are also housed on the third floor of this building. Hi guys, it's Lorena, and our next stop will be the Early Childhood Development Center. Did you know that there's a fully functioning elementary school on campus? The Early Childhood Development Center is operated jointly with Corpus Christi Independent School District and Texas A&M Corpus Christi. It serves as a training and research base for many of our university's education programs. The laboratory school serves children aged 4 through 5th grade. Children who attend the school are chosen on a lottery system and have the opportunity to receive half their instruction in English and the other half in Spanish. Most students become bilingual by the end of 5th grade. Fun fact, future teachers can observe classroom activities by sitting in our hidden observatory deck. Our next stop is going to be Tidal Hall and Center for the Sciences. A&M Corpus Christi's fastest growing programs are housed in the College of Science and Engineering. In order to keep up with the demand, Tidal Hall, our new life science research building, was built in 2019. The building has state-of-the-art labs where students can conduct research and seek undergraduate, master's, and doctoral degrees in some of the fastest growing programs like biology, marine biology, biomedical science, and clinical laboratory science. You don't want to miss the views in this building. Alongside Tidal Hall, students can experience upper-level science labs for courses in biology, chemistry, environmental science, and geology, all within our Center for the Sciences building. Hey guys, it's Megan. Now let's take a look at Classroom West. Classroom West is the headquarters of the Army ROTC Islander Battalion and is one of the oldest buildings on campus. Students who express an interest in joining the Army have the opportunity to take ROTC electives their first two years of college without any obligations to join the military. It's a great way for students to explore the Army as a good professional fit after graduation. Next up is Corpus Christi Hall. Corpus Christi Hall also overlooks the Corpus Christi Bay and is home to the university's administration offices, including the first female and 11th president and CEO of Texas A&M Corpus Christi, Dr. Kelly M. Miller. Some very important offices are located within this building, including disability services, which accommodates the needs of students who have physical, learning, health impairments, or neurological disabilities. They also provide services such as ASL interpreters, extended exam services, and note takers, should you become unable to take those notes on your own. Our largest computer labs are also located on the second floor with the best of both worlds, Mac and PCs. The second floor is also home to the university's honors program lounge and its offices and services. Hey guys, it's Anusha. Welcome to the Performing Arts Center, the university's world-class acoustically superb concert hall. The PAC has pushed Corpus Christi to the forefront of cultural arts and entertainment in South Texas and features a 1,350 seat concert hall with state-of-art acoustics, a striking 50-foot glass-walled lobby that faces Ocean Drive, offering a beautiful 360-degree view of the Corpus Christi Bay and the downtown skyline, and a versatile green room for more intimate gatherings and receptions. As a student, you'll participate in the Islander Ring Ceremony, concert performances, and distinguished speaker series. 
Our next stop is Bay Hall, which is my absolute favorite building on campus and home to the College of Liberal Arts. Students majoring in either communication, media arts, sociology, and even psychology will take most of their upper division courses here. In this building, you'll find two large lecture halls that seat 100 and 250 students. The Wall Mall that provides snacks for that 2.30 p.m. feeling to carry you through the, all of your afternoon classes. In addition to the large lecture classrooms, you'll find small seminar style classrooms on the first and second floor. Media production labs for movie editing and our film production equipment like cameras and green screens. Our graphic design students also get to work in their own think tank and design labs to have access to various different software and a 60 inch printer that they can use free of charge. Next to Bay Hall we have the Center for the Arts. The Center for the Arts is home to our university's music, theater, and art departments. With a plethora of addition based ensembles in voice and band, each student can explore the jazz, pep, spirit, mariachi bands, and so much more. Within the CAA are in-house theaters, Warren and Wilson, that host two plays per semester and one in the summer. Students can experience traditional theater in Warren while exploring new perspectives in Wilson's black box customized seating. Theater majors can even go from audience to stage by auditioning for roles in each play or work behind the scenes in directing, design tech, and gain theater teaching certifications. Lastly, students seeking artistic outlets can experience an on-site fire and kiln for ceramics as well as studios for drawing, painting, and sculpting. Islanders can even expose their art locally and worldwide through the Wheel Art Gallery in-house and South Texas Art Museum located downtown in Corpus Christi. And our next stop is the Center for Instruction. Home to the College of Science and Engineering, the Center for Instruction has science and math laboratories, general classrooms, and our largest lecture hall that seats 275 students. Here you can also enjoy some Islander-styled food with our exclusive Chicken Grill located on the first floor. Thanks, Jordan. I had Chicken Grill yesterday. How about we check out the Islander Dining Hall instead? The Islander Dining Hall is the main location for students to enjoy their meal plans. It is conveniently located a few steps from Miramar, one of our housing communities. The dining hall is an all-you-care-to-eat facility and is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There are seven delicious stations that serve a variety of food and a convenient to-go station is available for students who don't have a lot of time between classes. The dining hall is open every day of the week and offers more than 600 food items weekly. After enjoying a meal, try breaking a sweat at the Dr. Jack and Susie Dugan Wellness Center. On the first floor, you can find the Recreational Sports Office where you can find information about intramural sports, outdoor adventure trips, and equipment rentals. Islanders have an opportunity to rent equipment like bikes, kayaks, coolers, tents, sleeping bags, and much more. The Dugan also offers two full-size NCAA regulation basketball courts and workout spaces for weightlifting. On the second floor, you can find cardio machine equipment along with an indoor track and great views of the baseball and softball fields. The Dugan also offers yoga, spin classes, circuit training, Zumba, and many other group classes in their exercise rooms. The Dugan is also one of the many locations on campus where you can cheer on your Islanders. Texas A&M Corpus Christi offers 16 Division I sporting teams who are part of the Southland Conference. Some of our teams range from basketball, baseball, softball, tennis, volleyball, and beach volleyball. Each team is supported by our number one fan, Izzy the Islander. To officially showcase your Islander pride, let me teach you how to shaka. Step one, put your fist out. Step two, thumbs up. And step three, pinky out. Now that you know our hand sign, you're ready to be an Islander. Thanks, Megan. Let's head to Island Hall. If you're interested in nursing or kinesiology, Island Hall is the place for you. In this building, you'll find our state of art kinesiology labs, a rock wall, and our athletic training center. Our kinesiology labs provide research and learning opportunities to study human motion, fitness, and motor development. The Athletic Training Center has stretch tables, an ice bath, and even an underwater treadmill. Just outside the Athletic Training Center, you'll find everyone's favorite Einstein bagels, which has a perfect location to grab and go before or after class. Did you know that the Island University is one of the 11 institutions in the world whose educational program in strength and conditioning is recognized by the National Strength and Conditioning Association at both the undergraduate and graduate levels? Now let's check out Islander Regional Hospital home to our top-rated nursing program. Islander Regional Hospital offers different simulation for general patient care, ICU, pediatrics, and birth and delivery. The mannequins, also known as our patients, can breathe, talk, vomit, sweat, have seizures, and yes, even give birth. Our baby mannequin is the cutest. Island Hall is my favorite building because I spend most of my time here as a nursing student. The Mock Hospital has given me a lot of hands-on learning opportunities, which has provided me the skills to confidently work with patients during my clinicals in the real Corpus Christi hospitals. 
Hi guys, it's Lorena again, and now I'll be taking you to East Lawn. East Lawn is the hub for outdoor activities on the island campus, located between the Dugan Wellness Center and the University Center. Various activities take place here to keep the campus lively and full of spirit. You'll find various activities taking place here like Screen on the Green, The Lighting of the Eye, Farmers Markets, Battle of the Bands, Recreational Activities, Picnics, and more. Thanks, Lorena. How about we take a break in the Tejas Lounge, which is located in the University Center, the living room of campus. In this building, students come together to relax, study, eat, get involved, or spend time with friends during our break between classes. You don't even need to leave campus to get your basic necessities and textbooks. The campus store offers Islander merchandise, school supplies, textbooks, and the island market provides snacks, over-the-counter medicine, toiletries, and more. It's a gas station without the gas! Need to send or receive mail? The on-campus post office provides accessible mailboxes for students who live on campus. If you want a place to connect with others, I recommend going to Breaker's Game Room, where we have Xbox 360s, Nintendo Switches, Playstations, and pool tables, which are all free with your Sandollar student ID card. Megan, you forgot about the best part of the UC, the Cove. In our food court, you'll find Chick-fil-A, Pizza Hut, Panda Express, Girl Nation, a salad bar, a barbecue station, and more. Your first step to getting involved on campus is by visiting the Student Involvement Center. Learn about our fraternity and sorority life, student government, and more than 150 clubs and organizations. Other offices in this building include the Office of International Education, where you'll find opportunities to study abroad, and career services who can help you find jobs and internships on and off campus. They also host events like career fairs, business etiquette dinners, resume building workshops, and more. Get to know your career advisor early so they can put you on track to getting employment after graduation. Let's head back outside so we can check out the anchor. Did you know in the early days of our university, an anchor was left on campus by the U.S. Navy? It was dedicated to the freshman class by the first university president, and each year the freshmen were responsible for maintaining the anchor, carrying it to sporting events, and guarding it against rivals. During a series of pranks with rival universities in the 1960s, the plaque was taken and the anchor was disposed of. More than 40 years later, the plaque was returned to Texas A&M University Corpus Christi as dictated by the will of the person who had been in possession of it for nearly half a century. A second anchor was placed on campus and the original plaque was put out on display. One of my favorite traditions is Anchors Away, where we paint the anchor white just for homecoming. Next to the anchor, we have our Dr. Robert Ferguson Engineering Building and Engineering Lab. Our engineering building and the Engineering Extension Lab are homes to the university's engineering programs which include mechanical, electrical, civil, and industrial engineering. If you take a trip up to the second floor, you'll find laboratories for unmanned aerial vehicle research, robotics, and computer science. Our engineering students have opportunities for hands-on work in our labs and gain insightful experience for further employment. The Ferguson Engineering Building is the tallest building on campus because of the Sitco Observatory, which includes deep space telescopes to aid in the study of our skies. Guess who? Now I'll be taking you through the Center for Academic Student Achievement. The Center for Academic Student Achievement, or as we like to call it CASA, is the university's tutoring center. CASA offers various services that ensure that students succeed. Tutors are available to assist students in various subjects, including English, math, science, history, psychology, and more. In addition to tutoring, you can find our writing center, work with peer mentors, and success coaches to ensure your academic success on campus. Thanks, Lorena. The Mary and Jeff Bell Library was named after Mary and Jeff Bell after their generous contribution to our online research database. This allows our students to ele electronically find articles for research. The library has over 1.1 million publications both online and on the shelves. The first floor is the quiet floor, which has a super quiet study room towards the back. It also has the circulation desk where students can check out books, reserve study rooms, and other library materials. The Ask Us desk has attendants ready to provide IT assistance and answer general library questions regarding online databases, library technology, and more. We also have the Daily Read Cafe, which is a designated eating study space. The second floor is more of my style, and it allows me to be my extroverted communication major love and self. It has movable furniture, dry erase boards, dry erase board tables, study rooms, the iCreate lab, which is a maker space, with 3D printers, poster printer, virtual reality, Adobe software, which is Photoshop, sewing and embroidering machines, laser cutters, podcast equipment, wood cutters, and more. As we're talking about the library, do you need to make an A in your finals? Well, feel free to go to the Hector P. Garcia Plaza and rub his foot for good luck. I recommend that you still study, though. 
Dr. Hector P. Garcia was a doctor, veteran, and civil rights leader who founded the American GI Forum, a Hispanic and veteran civil rights organization in Corpus Christi. Dr. Garcia is a prominent figure in our city, not only because of the American GI Forum, but because he was a local doctor that would provide health care to those in need. He was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Reagan and was a firm believer in education. His famous quote is, education is our freedom and freedom should be everybody's business. This is my favorite spot on campus to study and spend time with my friends between classes, especially on a sunny day. Welcome to the Student Services Center, or as we call it, the Round Building. This is one of the most important buildings on campus and once served as the original campus library. When you first walk in, you are welcomed with the circulation desk, which has staff from admissions, the registrar's office, and financial aid who can help you or get you with somebody who can. I personally love the circulation desk since I am able to speak with a representative immediately and find everything in one place. The round building is home to various offices that help you from the application process to graduation. Some of these offices include admissions, financial aid, scholarship office, the registrar's office, and the academic testing center. You can guarantee to get your questions answered in this building. Hey guys, I'm going to be taking you to the Woosung Lee Plaza. Woosung Lee Plaza is centrally located on the island campus and is home to various university traditions and is a great place to relax and study in the sun. Woosung Lee was an international student from Korea and graduated from the University of Corpus Christi in 1959. Woosung Lee donated the plaza in honor of his son and the friends and staff he met while attending UCC. Some of the traditions that take place at the plaza include the Islander Ring Wish, Islander Lights, and the Islander Tribute. The Islander Ring Wish occurs at Lee Plaza at the conclusion of the Islander Ring Ceremony at the Performing Arts Center. Each ring box includes a sand dollar that will be tossed in the fountain so that our students can make a wish for their future. It's one of the university's most cherished traditions by the Islander alumni. Islander Lights occurs at the plaza during the holiday season. Students, faculty, staff, alumni, and community members are invited to attend Islander Lights to celebrate holiday festivities and donate toys and money to Toys for Tots. This event concludes with lighting up the entire campus in blue and green lights. The Islander Tribute Ceremony occurs every April and provides an opportunity for students, faculty, staff, and family members to honor the memory and commemorate the lives of departed students who passed away while enrolled at the university. This tradition helps with the healing of our community and showcases how the Islander family is a tight-knit community. Before we end the tour, we want to touch on our Islander housing communities, parking, and campus safety. Thanks, Anusia. I'll take it from here. Now is the fun part, Islander housing. I'm going to talk to you about our two housing communities, Miramar and Momento Village. Texas A&M Corpus Christi offers two distinct on-campus housing communities. First year students have a mandatory residency requirement and can choose from either community. Miramar is the first choice housing for freshmen as it requires a nine month lease and offers seven different types of residence halls and apartment floor plans to choose from. All residence halls are fully furnished and come equipped with a microwave, mini fridge, a twin size bed, desk, chair, and a dresser. Each floor of every building has a community space that includes lounges, study rooms, large kitchens, and laundry rooms. For the apartment style living here on the island, roommates will share a furnished living room and kitchen. The bedrooms are also furnished with a twin size bed, desk, and dresser. Unless you have a studio apartment, you'll only have to share your bathroom with one other person. And to do any of your laundry, it's a quick trip to our three convenient laundry facilities. Miramar also offers a pool, kayak racks, and a recreation center that includes a beautiful deck overlooking Oso Bay. And now we're off to Momentum Village. Momentum Village is located about a mile away from the island campus on the Momentum campus and it's just steps away from our intramural fields and soccer stadium. This resort style location gives students an opportunity to sign a 12 month lease and choose from apartment and townhome style floor plans. This is the best option for students who want the benefit of on campus housing and the feel of off campus living. Apartment and townhomes include a full kitchen, furnished living room, and a washer and dryer. If you love having your own bathroom, you're in luck. Each residence has their own private restroom. And if you can't study in your apartment, there are study spaces located throughout the community. When you're not studying, you can always go out and enjoy some volleyball with your friends, a movie on the lawn, or hang out at the pool to cool off. Momentum Village also have two pet-friendly buildings, 
So if you have a furry friend you want to bring with you to college, you totally can. All you have to do is fill out a quick application and contact the office for more information. You can view all floor plans and learn more about Islander Housing at housing.tamucc.edu. Let me tell you about the University Police Department. One of the best things about attending the Island University is that you can get a private school experience at an affordable cost. As we've mentioned, we're the only university in the nation located on its own island. Besides our normal visitors, the only people to make their way onto campus are students, faculty, staff, or the military personnel who work at the Naval Air Base next door. Our University Police Department also has certified police officers who work 24-7, 365 days a year to ensure the safety of all of our islanders. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed your tour. If you want to find out more about being an islander or you want to come visit us on campus, check out futureislander.tamucc.edu. We hope to see you soon. Shock, Shock is up! up.